bringing our matchmaking expertise to the TV screen. Get naked on the first day. We have something that we want to share with you guys. Yes. Man. Franklin and his wife. Again and again. Mm -hmm. These people will never, ever stop amazing the people of God. <laughs> It just uh Yeah, I think everybody's used to um Kurt Franklin shenanigans. Ugh. Yeah, let's hear this. Gospel artist Kirk Franklin and his wife is hosting a dating show called The One. Here's the video clip. Bringing our matchmaking expertise to the TV screen. Get naked on the first day. Find that special someone. Mm. Do you want to come to the mansion? Yeah. We set the environment to let them know, do you? Do you and be you, and we're not here to judge, and we, we, we're just here to have your back if you need us. We're going to introduce Ashley and Brett to the best singles Atlanta has to offer. And they're going to be living together this estate, y'all, and with the goddess Tammy and myself, they just might find the, the one. one. I hope Kirk Franklin is there to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, because this is a dating competition series on a worldly platform that is well known for pushing agendas that contradicts the word of God. These shows are lustful, immoral, ungodly. They are bringing men together to compete against one another for a relationship with a woman. And they are bringing men together to compete against one another for a relationship with a man. So all these women are coming, trying to hook up with the same man. And all the men are coming to the mansion to hook up with the same woman. And what she said at the beginning of the video is alarming. Listen to this. Get naked on the first day. And I know some people are going to say, Jesus sat with the sinners. You are 100% correct. Mm -hmm. But Jesus didn't partake in their sins. Say. Neither did Jesus tell them to do what you do. According to scriptures, Jesus said, unless ye repent, ye all likewise shall perish. So please don't take what I'm saying out of context. I believe that God can send you among sinners. We see it throughout the Bible, but he don't send you to compromise with their sin. Mm -hmm. He sent us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, have no fellowship mm. with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Reprove them. Yes. Rather. He on it. Reprove them. You know, a lot of people want you to shut up, not to expose something like this, not to bring something like this out. But it, it is so, so crazy how some of the believers are even like taking up for days. Yeah. Like taking up for something like this. Uh, 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 the, the sad part that, uh, that he said uh, that really annoyed me is so homosexuality is going, is going to come in there too and right, that's mingle. What I mean. Yeah. Because he's not going to decline anyone. Mm -mm. He said he's not here to judge. That's yeah. what he said. He said he's not here to judge. These people are bold every minute. Uh, I saw in a comment section somebody said uh, the goat and uh, he he well, he did that the goat and the sheep stuff. <laughs> so the, he knows exactly what he's doing. These he people do. know. Yeah, he done definitely uh, bow down to Satan, and uh, he um, Kurt Franklin is at the point he don't care what anybody think the body of Christ think at all. You know, he just want y'all to buy his music. That's what y'all need to keep doing. That's how yeah. he feels. His wife don't care. Um, she don't correct her husband. Yeah, why is she um, gonna correct her husband? Because she already. Because uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. I, as the video was playing, I could see what God is saying concerning her. God was revealing who she is. Number one, when when your husband is 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 demon possessed, what are you gonna be? He is like. The same with the husband, Jezebel's spirit all around her, and she don't care about any, what anybody's gonna say. Mm -mm. She, okay. you know, it's all about the fame, the money, and that's it. That's it. So it's only when you truly love God you can correct your spouse. But if it's all about the money for you, I don't care. Let me live the life that I. Oh, we are blessed. Oh, this, this. Oh, money in the bank. There is no way you will be able to stand 
for righteousness. You know, um, I would say that God is a good God, ain't he? Yeah, he eats. He's a good God because if it was me, I'd take them back to where they started from because y'all completely forgot what God has done for you. Completely forgot. Yeah. Before you was famous, you was a nobody. Amen. Before you was famous, you didn't have no money. Amen. So you need to remember what that God brought you up. Yeah. Amen. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't have a platform. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't know how to do music. Amen. He gave you those gifts. Okay. So now when you get up to the level of to a level of where you feel like you can't be brought down, now you have forgotten about God. And that's that. Yeah. It's really heartbreaking when I see um Christians rise up, even gospel artists, they rise up. And then when they get big, they don't care about what God think anymore. Yeah, because sometimes, depending on how, you know, you, uh, like people that helped you to, bro you know, bring you up from nothing to something, then, you you know, you, f you see the lifestyle that they're living. Oh, they don't even care about Christ the way you care. But uh, they have made you to commit some sin that, will, you know, they will always point fingers, hey, don't even judge us because you're already here, you know. So you, you, you see those people, their mindset, their mind, their conscience will be gone. So everything that they do, all this evil thing, like de demonic things, they, 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 they collide themselves, attach themselves, they don't have the feelings of God no more. You know, the Satan will just take over their mind. And when... You don't have conscience in anything that you do anymore. Satan has taken over your mind. It's just simple. You have openly sell your soul, the devil. Because you can tell for him saying, oh, we're not going to judge you. Nobody is talking about judge, judging not anybody. But if you can reprove sin, if you can judge, you know, bring, bring out a righteous judgment to anyone out there, True to true to stand, but doing all this like <clears throat> trying to play uh, like, hey, you Christian, shut up. We are not here to judge. That's, that's some stupid stuff. And I'm okay with uh, anyone wanting to have a dating show, but if you yeah. are a minister or a believer or a gospel artist and you represent Christ, you need to tell do it this, the right way. You need to tell this uh, platform, hey, you're gonna act presentable on this show. Yeah, it's uh, certain things that you're not going to do. It's not and always about it. money. Yeah, this is this is hundred percent money. Yeah, because yeah. Um, I don't know what show he, which um, um, channel he's gonna be doing this on, but you gotta be a little messy and you gotta be a little nasty to get some some views and ratings. Yeah, and um, about the part where you know. Maybe it's a maybe or allegedly, you know, Kurt Franklin seen a lot of things as well in church. And um, he seen his pastors uh, and si do simple things in church. Um, so he don't, you know, to me, that's just a bunch of excuses. Yeah, That's a bunch of excuses. Yeah. Okay. Because we all have a Bible just like you. Yeah. Okay. Read the word of God. Yeah. You know, so if you feel like uh, I didn't, I wasn't represented right, I didn't see the right things in church, so I'm gonna do what I want to do. That's a bunch of excuses in God's eyes. Stop yeah. the madness because yeah. I met a several women, several women who I would love to put on this platform to tell people how they were molested by some ministers. Yeah. And guess what? They're, they're in ministry preaching. right now. And they they rebuke sin just like we do. And they're still living a holy and life. And they live in a holy life. And we're gonna give you a platform if you have been molested or anything and you want to come in and share your testimony and you are still standing on holiness, you are welcome. Yeah, especially those who was being molested by these ministers and pastors, okay? And you know that things are going wrong in the body of Christ, and you didn't accept, okay, they did it to me, so I'm gonna do it too. No. Yeah. It's stop making excuses for these people. Yeah. Kurt Franklin, you know better. Repent. You do. All y'all need to repent. Making excuses. I seen this. I seen that in church. Stop the madness. Yeah. Everybody ha have had church hurt. Everybody. Stop blaming hmm. God for your church hurt. 
Everybody. I was Everybody. Scam. I was scammed so much. I was like, my, my, my was so horrible. It was so horrible in the church, you know, but not about sexual, sexual stuff. It was about taking everything that belongs to you, like ripping you off, you know, but we're still standing. It, it, that will not make you or cause you to fall. You know, that will strengthen you, make you keep pushing. Mm-hmm. And that's what the truth about the word of God is all about. Amen. We yes. love you. Hmm? We love y'all. Yeah, we love you so much. Remember to share this and keep praying for these people for their repentance. Yes. Bye. Bye bye.